we've begun. Welcome, everybody, to the first official WTF Gamers Only GamerCast. Uh, my name is Jason Carmona. I am the senior editor. And with me today, we have our co-host, Ernest Johnson. Ernest, say hello. Yo, what up? Wait, am I not supposed to say your name? Do you have a secret name you want to give out? or That was the secret name that you just gave out. But, I mean, it's cool. No, we can re-edit that. <laughs> no, no, we edited no. the secret. Your name is? <laughs> yeah, my name is Ernest Johnson. No, but what is that what you want your name to yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can call me the Emperor, you know, Emperor Ernest, if you, you know. <laughs> the that's, Emperor. That's what I go by, so, Okay, yeah. so we censored out that whole beginning part, and you are now the Emperor. No, no, I got nothing to hide, so. You're now the Emperor. Yes. Okay. And yes. with me, we have? Travis Tendo. Travis Tendo. A.K.A. Uh, Travis Touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Travis Touchdown. <laughs> For the name Travis Tendo, he's my favorite. By the way, I love Travis Tendo. He's just like me, except slimmer and sexier. Awesome, <laughs> sweet. So what this is going to be? This is going to be a hopefully weekly, bi-weekly forum where we talk about all the top news that's broken out uh, in relates to video gaming and tech and all things pretty much nerd. And we kind of will also shoot the shit a little bit. Uh, and, you know, talk about some of the games that we've been playing, some of the stuff we like that's been going on in the industry and stuff that really grinds our gears. Mm-hmm. And uh, right now I want to start off with our What You've Been Playing segment. So, Ernest, oh. what have you been playing? Oh, which, by the way, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. We oh. should be playing, right? Should I be playing? Yes. You should be playing. Yeah, you yeah. Switch yeah. me over. Right. Me oh, over. that's right. We got to switch you over. Switch me over so I can play this game while you guys talk. So for our first segment of this podcast, it's called What You've Been Playing. Ernest, Emperor... (laughs) What are we calling you? I forgot. You can just call me Emperor Ernest or just Ernest, whatever. Emperor! (laughs) Um, Well, you know, I finished uh, Alan Wake finally and American Nightmare. Uh, American Nightmare better than the game, I thought. Really? Yeah, I was expecting the story... I was expecting the gameplay to take a backseat to the story, and it was kind of like the other way around, where the graphics were really good, and you know, it was it was it was pretty fun to play, but the story was just kind of, I just I don't I didn't think it was all that good. Are you not you a know? fan of Remedy's work, or is it? Just... I think they're over all right, but I think what you said earlier, they're like kind of overrated a little bit. A little overrated. Yeah, you know, I was Since I was expecting a lot more from the story, and it was kind of campy, but not like in a good way. It was like too self-important sort of mm-hmm. and but you know the gameplay was like you know it wasn't the most solid game but it, it was fun and it was it was cool running around with the flashlight lighting was like really really good graphics again were just like pretty pretty amazing pretty top-notch and you were playing near recently right Nier? yeah you know How i mean near is a, near is a special game because it's, it's it is special it is a special game it's a really nice game but i i, I wasn't i i you know i didn't like it that much not like everybody else you know, internet community loves near, loves near, and I just I don't know, I don't feel the same way. It was a small game. You know, there aren't that many areas and stuff like that and it's an action RPG, it just I'm not into action RPGs that much. You know, story wasn't much story for what I was expecting. You do all these fetch quests but you don't get experience for them, so you just get gold. And in that game you don't even really need money that much, so it was kinda just you know, I don't know, I just I, maybe I just didn't get it. I, I didn't think it was all that great. Music was really good, but there wasn't that much of it. And like, you know, singing was nice, but like, every song was like, you know, the, a nice woman singing. And uh, you know, I don't know. It was just all right, you know. This is okay. Yeah, it was good, but you know, honestly, like, uh, like the controls were not that great. It's an older game. Ah, uh, even still, it it wasn't precise. You know, it was still, it's 2010 game. It wasn't like oh, 2006 wow. or 7 game. Like, even still, even if it's an old game, I mean, Nintendo games have, you know, excellent control. Mega Man controls absolutely perfect. Wait, Ninja Nier? Gaiden controls perfectly. You were playing on, uh, what system? I was playing Nier on the 360. You know, and, I noticed, you know, I uh... played through it twice, got, you know, endings A and B. Uh-huh. And, yeah, it was cool, but I, you know, I... I was expecting to give it like an eight and a half out of nine or nine out of ten, and I'd probably give it like a seven out of ten. Unfortunately, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just, you know, the graphics were like nicely designed, like the style was really nice, but 
from a technical aspect, they weren't all that great. It's more of a story thing, isn't it? With yeah, but then there wasn't that much story, you know? Oh, and shit. the story was, like, kind of confusing, but you're like, well, th you know, it'll get explained or whatever later on, and then, like, all of a sudden you're, like, pretty much at the end of the game, and, like, not much has really been explained, and you're like, oh, this is kind of a weird game, but let me play through it, get ending B, and maybe it'll explain more. And then you play through an ending B, and it does explain more, but it's just kind of like, uh, I don't know, not that great. And apparently it's like a pseudo sequel to Dragon Guard, which I never played. And I don't know, apparently the story's really convoluted and there's like a lot to it and I'm just you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. Just over it. Yeah, you know, because the game itself wasn't for me wasn't good enough to, you know, I don't know, it wasn't it didn't interest me that enough. There wasn't enough story to to, to reel me in. So just recently you started. Uh, I w we were hanging out last night. And yeah, you really started to dig deep into Lost Planet 2. Planet. Oh my god! You know everybody was talking so much smack on that game. I, I remember when the demo came out, and I was like, "Man, just this real, is real quick for yeah. people who don't know, and they're actually listening in for the first time. Like we're doing this for the first time right yeah. now." <laughs> Ernest has a humongous backlog <laughs> of games. Yeah, it's really he ridiculous. Hey, but I'm playing you should, everything. You should explain that real quick. Like, explain your backlog. Okay, it's just <laughs> you know it's too out of control. Cause I have a lot of games. It's too out of control. So where I. You know, most people just play like this. Oh, I'll just play whatever I feel like, and then you know, you play like through a quarter of the game, and then you get kind of tired, or you get to a, you get stuck, and you play something else, and then you just keep doing that. So you never really play, or finish through any games, and then when you go back to it, you forgot what the hell you were doing, or why you were doing it, or what's going on. You, you don't get the full, the full experience of the game when you go from start to finish. You know, when and when you're done with the game, then when you're sitting back and reflecting on it, you you really. You get a true feel for the whole game, you know, and uh, you know I think that's important because sometimes when you've been playing for games for as long as you or I have, mm -hmm. sometimes you get kind of burnt out a little bit, or you just go like, oh, I'm just not enjoying gaming as much, and so you know I was kind of doing that because I was just playing little bits of this game, little bits of that game, and having fun, but just I don't know, not 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 getting the right feel. So I've just been really patient. I just play games in uh, chronological order now, so I have everything organized by the. Fairly, fairly to the month that they came out. So you know that way, I'm you uh, know whoa, for whoa, example. Whoa, whoa, How many games are we talking here? I have more than seven hundred games. <laughs> so like, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad, you know. Ernest. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be earnest with you. <laughs> that is way too many, way too big of a pile of shame. That's true, definitely. It's but an awesome pile of shame. It is because <laughs> I don't. I, it's not like it's, it's not like all those games. Like, oh, I just I'm a collector, so I just bought this game. No, those are all games that I want to play. Want, yeah. yeah. Wow. Not every single one of them, but vast majority. You've vast got majority. the greatest of the greatest titles. So like For the most part, I try. Yeah, yeah. Your selection is pretty nifty. And every console is pretty much covered. Yeah, the only consoles I really don't have are like a Neo Geo and a 3DO. I don't really need a 3DO. I'd like to have a Neo Geo, you know, but I mean, I don't know. You can pretty much get most of the games arcade perfect on like you know PS2 or you know little discs that came out. You get yeah. all the Metal Slugs arcade perfect on on uh, the PS2 or the Wii U Virtual Console. It's a good, good. Um, it was translated well. No mm -hmm. filters or anything like, like this, for example. You know, oh, you can't tell here, but on a CRT, the way you should play Streets of Rage 2, it, it's a uh, I forget what the filter is called, but it's got it's oh, got like a, no, no, it doesn't have scan lines. It has um, it's it's like what a lot of emulators do. Like when you wanna uh, when you don't want it all pixelated on a computer monitor, and you have to put the filters on smoothing. Smoothing, yeah, it's got that smoothing. I forget the name of the filter, but yeah, it's basically it's got smoothing, and which would kind of be fine. But again, you lose detail when you when you use smoothing, and then if you're playing on a CRT the way you should, all you can all you really have to do if you want, if you don't believe me is. If you're, you know, if you're a gamer like me and you've got your, you still got your Genesis and your real copy of Streets of Rage 2, you know, play that and then you get a Switch box, switch right over to the Xbox version, you will see the difference. Mm. No question. Mm. It's, it, it, to some people it may be subtle, but I mean, hey, I, I, I don't, why would I compromise if I have the Genesis version and it's not as good as that version, why would I not play the Genesis version? I know people go, oh, I don't have a Genesis anymore. Well, I mean, hey. That that just means that, that you're a person who's willing to compromise, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to compromise. I'll, I'll plug up. I got my Genesis all plugged up. It's ready to go. Plus, I like playing with the Genesis pad anyway. Oh wow, the three or the six. 
the six. I got two of the six. Yeah, the six, six is a beautiful is the controller, controller on the Genesis. Yeah, yeah. it's perfectly. Dino but the Japanese buttons. Saturn pad is the ultimate. Yes, six it button. is. Yeah, but not the American that's... one. Japanese nope. one. Travis, are you still currently playing your games, or you've just been on the road? Oh, too I much sold it all. I sold them all. I, I do know, have a Vita you and a 3DS. Still sold some stuff to me, dude. I, yeah, I, sh I still have a few things left over. Right, Most yeah, of the games know. are gone. Most of the games are gone. We'll arrange. Uh, yeah, 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 we'll yeah, arrange that after this. Cast. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I'm so. Uh, I'm so vagabondish these days that I need to make sure that everything I play is on portable systems. So I have here before I start playing against Electric Lady here. Oh yeah, she's um, awesome. Very. I have a uh, probably a a pretty good amount of Vita games, you know, not so many 3DS games, but I'm pretty choosy with the games I play. Mm. Um, usually they have to have a minimal amount of TNA in them. Is a prerequisite, actually, <laughs> and that's not a lie. I want. To is that why you're playing as Blaze? That's exactly correct. Oh, well, it's great. You know, she does that kick where you know, like, goes all the way up. I think it kind of. Yeah, I think yeah. they censored it or something like that. No, <laughs> part three. No, look at that. Look at that. If you pause it just right I'm there, trying. you know. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. See, they knew what they were doing when they when they made it zoom out like that when you pause. <laughs> yeah, anyway. practically anything she does. Yeah, like you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Blaze is cool. She even has boob jiggle in part three. Oh wow! I gotta get on that part three. Mm, love part three. I mean the. But they stay. That's the, yeah. They heavily uh, censored the American one on yeah, that. one. That no. really pissed me off. It was really really, really bad. bad. Yeah, they took out the gay mid boss on the first level, and they changed like some of the wardrobe colors. Really it's weird silly. shit. Silly, yeah. silly, silly stuff. They yeah. brought back Shiva. He's supposed to be dead. Oh wow, she was in it. she was so well, to, to fucking replace, badass. He is so he's a really cool character. Dude, yeah. he is so fucking awesome. At the end of this game, when you see him fucking with Mister Big, dude, it's like yeah. the coolest thing ever. But yeah, my games are very limited. I still play, but it's like I'm so busy with photography that there's almost no way I could do both at the same time. Mm. I absolutely enjoy and love games. I went to school for video games. I just decided to not participate in that industry, uh, at least actively. Freelancer, I'll do that every now and then, or do some fo photographic reference for cities or buildings or something like that for a company. But um, yeah, my actual gaming, I'll do a little bit of I'll do a little bit of uh, PC gaming every now and then. But I really like playing those uh, Japanese hentai games, <laughs> the 3D ones. Yeah, and like push it, pushing the graph. Oh, I just died. Dude, I was like, get that turkey, bro. I know. I but wasn't. you know what? If you get close to death again, then you can get it this way. Yeah, I'm on hard too, so. Uh, I was going to say. Yeah. I'm not very. Uh, you got to do that uh, up well jump versed. to recover those. Like if you get thrown. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. I forget how to fight against this dude. I'm not a pro, and I'm trying to talk at the same time. So. Yeah, that's true. Anyhow, yeah, so that's me. That's cool. I'm but still currently playing fucking Resident Evil. <laughs> and for the going I'm on still, three months, uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I'm still playing Resident Evil and Batman Arkham Origins. Hey, dude, it's been you. a grind to get those done, but I've been so busy between writing and working and trying to set up the other shows yeah. and the YouTube. So I haven't had a lot of time to really crunch game like I want to, but... I've just started getting into Heist. Uh, my homeboy Sunny That's right. was like, bro, you got to get Heist. You got to get Heist. <laughs> and I had just, you know, gotten rid of my copy of GTA 5 for 360, mm -hmm. you know, because he has a 362. So I want to be able to play with him and other friends. And I was like, oh, I got to get another copy of it. So I went, got the digital copy. So I always have it uh, for as long as they allow me to, I guess, digitally. Yeah, so, uh, and been playing Heist. Heist is awesome, and it's a quick way to make money in GTA, because it feels like in GTA 5, it takes forever, forever in a day to make money. Like, you can go on, like, side gigs and stuff like that, and, like, steal the crack from somebody and drop it off the Trevor so many times, but it only gives you, like, 15000 20000 at a time. You Fuck! Can, I'll take that money. But you can pull a whole heist and get all the heists done and cool and make cool millions quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So heist is a really good way to make money in GTA. Besides that, I mean, I'm still stuck in Resident Evil. Uh, I've already ran into Lisa the first time. 
um, the the HD remix uh, or remaster, whatever they called it. Yeah. And I just killed the bumblebees in that um, in that uh, outhouse. Where you what was like a... and he's talking to himself and stuff like that. You haven't played the remastered yet, no, so I won't no, say no. anymore yet because I don't want to. Yeah, it. yeah, because I will um, be getting that. Yeah, but it pretty it very closely follows the original Resident. And you'll play it in like about ten years. Yeah, man. Well, you know what? Hey, I am making progress. I mean, like yeah, I'm you in... are burning through your backlog. Right I am burning here. through my backlog quicker yeah. than I was kind of expecting. Yeah, but um, that and Batman Arkham Origins, I like it not as much as. Uh, the yeah, because it's not two. rock steady. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of their blueprints are still in the game. You can see, yeah, like, but by the third one, they they have some lot to. Yeah, you know, they, they add from. a lot too, and some of it works, some of it doesn't. Like I don't like having sometimes having to examine the entire room yeah. can be a bother. Doesn't sound fun. You know, sometimes it can be cool when it when it does it in a story type of way where yeah. it unfolds and tells a story. That's pretty cool. But when I gotta find a certain card and I can't zero in on that with my little scan circle it becomes a pain in the ass you know what i mean yeah. but otherwise the story is pretty cool it's kind of weird that batman has certain gadgets right off the bat um in arkham origins but you kind of have to earn some of them in city it's a little weird his suit there's a lot like more armor like in the second one so it looks like they kind of skimmed him down in the future like kind of was like Maybe this stuff's too heavy. I'll just wear a basic onesie. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, he he looks more badass in Origins, I think. But you still miss that Kevin Conroy voice. Like nothing replaces him. And then Mark Hamill's not the Joker. Uh, nothing replaces yeah. Mark Hamill. Yeah. But the, they both sound really close and good. You know, you get into it, but it's not. It doesn't quite feel the same. It feels like it could maybe even be a different Batman game altogether, even. Like, mm. just based on the Arkham, uh, you know, formula. The Arkham but lore, it but... Can yeah. be, it, they didn't even need to put Arkham in the beginning. They just did it because Jeez. Batman Arkham is a brand right now. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? See, all those things, that's what I don't like, you know? Yeah. But it's a decent game. It's worth playing when you get... when it, You have it currently in your yeah. uh, backlog? Mm, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of like... I don't know if it's like... I'll let you borrow it. Yeah, I'll check it out, like, borrow. a little bit real quick yeah. and just kind of... See are. if I can get into it or whatever. Yeah, see if you can get into it. Yeah. You just beat it or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's hop into some of these news stories real quick because I know all of us are a little crunched for time right now. Yeah. So yeah. let's get into these news stories. Uh, then most of before the... this ends, though, I do want to talk about Last Planet, too. Okay. <laughs> we will. All right. Uh, but I want to bang out the Nintendo news real quick. Yeah. Nintendo had lots of news coming out of the Nintendo Direct that dropped on April Fool's. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of... They did not drop any April Fool's jokes, as far <laughs> as I'm aware not. of. Nintendo's like, and, what's April Fool's? But you would have tricked me by the notes that I wrote. Because they literally went every 10 minutes talking about Amiibo. You know what? I'll point, be honest, dude. That's kind of smart. Business-wise, I could see why. Because they sell them for 11 to 15 bucks at a pot. Yeah, but they're like... They're like fucking like and that they're Skylanders cool. shit. And they're, they're all yeah. the rage right now. They're so yeah. huge, dude. All right, what the fuck is an amiibo? An amiibo You'll be hearing about it, that okay, shit Okay, have you soon, ever yeah. seen Skylanders where you got collect a toy and you scan it on the controller and then it shows up in the game? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And that thing Nintendo is like super popular too. Is doing the same thing. The same thing that Disney is doing with, <clears throat> excuse me, Disney Infinity right. and all the Marvel figures that they have coming out for that right now. Amiibo is 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 Nintendo's equal to that. So okay. pretty much, if you buy, like, uh, let's say, fuck, you buy a toy, and it's a Nintendo uh, Mario toy, you scan it in the Amiibo, the, scan the Amiibo in the controller, RF scan thing, A, whatever mm -hmm. they call it, and the info that's on the Amiibo will register into the game as additional DLC, only, exclusive only to the Amiibo. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And That's it's retarded. nothing, but see, it's nothing game breaking where it's like you get really exclusive stuff that you know that you need the amiibo to have. That would be too unfair. It's just well, little stuff, you know. The the Hyrule Warriors mm. amiibo thing is a top that spins and smashes. It, like doesn't even give yeah. your, your your enemies a chance to hit you. Like it rapes. Like, so it's just, uh, then if you want to game break the game, then yeah. go ahead, fine. But see that, 
Mm. That, that's good. That, that means it's not like some awesome item that you would need, you know, that you'd be like, oh, you know, I want that without having to have right. an amiibo for it. And when I go over some of these uh, notes that I have right here that Nintendo announced, it'll give a bigger, a bigger, a broader idea of what their plan for amiibo is because mm. they literally went 10 minutes, every 10 minutes of this nearly 50 minute direct it, talking about amiibos. Because <clears throat> it's Nintendo, they, you know, like, there's not much going on for them right now as far as games, what, you know, just delays and whatnot, nothing, no big new announcements, so they've got their Amiibos and those things are, like, taking the world by storm, so, smart, yeah, then talk about those Amiibos right. the whole time, so what else are they going to do? they announced a slew of new Mi uh, Amiibos uh, on May 29th, they're going to have Charizard, Pac-Man, Wario, Jigglypuff, Ness, Two uh, of the main characters from uh, Fire Emblem and another Pokemon that I can't recognize at the moment. And but I believe Ness is a GameStop exclusive, I'll right? Put it up on the screen so people watching the podcast can mm. see which one it is. So yeah, so. Ness is a GameStop exclusive, which is really frustrating. <clears throat> Jigglypuff apparently received so many pre-orders that Target and GameStop crashed. Yeah, I heard Their about websites that. Their websites crashed. And they were down. So I'm saying that's why Nintendo should that be talking about it. This stuff? What if they no, no. The site was down. Well, the site Both was down. Both of them. GameStop site was down. Right. Like, that's that's bad for don't, business. They, you don't think they're smoking cigars and shaking hands in the back? No, because those hey, amiibos don't cost as much as the games. Let's get jiggly puppies so, on this. So that's on May 29th. In July, they're going to have uh, two more amiibo. Uh, I believe they're the Kid Icarus amiibo. Yeah, it's Kid Icarus. Hmm. And, that sounds um, cooler than Jigglypuff. Dude, yeah. holy shit! Look at that Bowser. And on. then, <laughs> and then on September, there's uh, the Pikmin oh with God. the astronaut. There's uh, Suit Zero Samus. There's Ganon, Doctor Mario, and Baby Bowser. Oh my God, that's so fucking sick! And all those with games the Super will... Mario World. Uh... Oh man! Right, and all the amiibo will interact with with Smash Brothers instantly. But yeah. a lot of Amiibo are going to interact with other games as well, Mario Kart and whatnot. Hey, that's, and that's cool. Go I'm not going to be well. messing with no Amiibos. So. <clears throat> right. So um, the Amiibos will also um, – there's also a new uh, demo that's going to be coming out that people can download called Tap Amiibo, Nintendo's Greatest Bits. And with this demo, uh, you will use your Amiibo to scan – and within the game, it will grant you access to timed classic demos. I heard about that. Huh? Right. And each amiibo uh, will be at random. So if you buy Mario, you may get Super Mario Brothers. Mm -hmm. And if I buy the same Mario, I may get Super Metroid. You know what I mean? And How so long can you play them for? Um, well, they each one is kind of like delegated to like not eight or nine like clip type things. So each like area is like a clip, I guess. Uh, you know, so it's not the whole entire game, and it's not like a timed exclusive type thing, yeah. where it's like the PSN demos or timed trials. You know, where it gives you the whole game for right. an hour. Right. But for like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it is going to be very limited. Little segments of the game. Right. Not... Um. And let me see if I got any notes about that. Oh, they also said that Mewtwo and Lucas Amiibos were coming soon. You can imagine once Mewtwo goes on sale. Oh, yeah, it's going to go nuts, like, dude. The yeah. internet's going to blow up, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, they did say uh, they were talking about the 30th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers, and yeah. they're going to commemorate the re uh, that uh, occasion with the release of Mario Maker. Uh, Mario Maker is going to allow you to create your own Mario stages and worlds. So you can create level 1, 2, 3, boss, to level world 2, 1, 2, 3, boss, right. up to 8 worlds, and you can share them online with friends and anybody to challenge your maps. What kind of maps are like based on like... Based on... Uh, from what the video showed, mm. and I'll show clips of that on the screen as well for people watching in on this, yeah. um, are going to be based off. You can use the same map, like you can create a world, and you mm -hmm. can use templates from uh, Super Mario Brothers, three, one, sorry, one, three, Mario World, and New Super Mario Brothers Wii U. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty yeah. cool. And you can switch them at random. Mm -hmm. So you can use the you can create the same level and design it however you want. Right. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. 
um, definitely gonna get that. And you can um, upload, I said uh, upload custom worlds. It's due out in September 2015. So that's definitely something that's gonna be uh, on my radar to get when I once I get my Wii. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm gonna be that's great, Wii. dude. But uh, yeah, I'll play your levels. I'm not gonna be making any levels myself. I'll make dude. A shitload. I'm gonna you crack out on this. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World is coming out. Play oh man, like, I'm excited. That's about something that one. I'm really excited for. Yeah. Awesome. It looks beautiful. Oh god. Okay, so there's gonna be two modes of gameplay. It's gonna be classic mode and mellow mode. Classic mode pretty much allows you to play. Uh, as traditional Yoshi's game, Yoshi right. games would. Yeah, normal, um, yeah. Mellow mode allows you to play as winged Yoshi through, uh, at any time throughout the game. So if the game's too hard, like Donkey Kong Country Returns, you could put it like on the easy mode at will and just like bypass all the hard shit that you can't get done. Mm. You play as winged Yoshi, so you can just. So you can watch just you know get an action replay and just. <laughs> they don't make. Right that's why they have it though. Yeah. They don't make action replays anywhere. You know? yeah. That'd be nice, you know. But it's no more action replays. That's at what all. it is. It's a. It's an easy mode. So if you get stuck and just like want to bypass the stage, more than an easy mode. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You can. It's just great for kids. Mode. They've also announced that uh, to commemorate the release of uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, yeah. uh, they're going to uh, they're going to release limited edition Yoshi Amiibo, um, and the the. But there's amiibo. no Yoshi amiibo right now. I think there is. This will be a different. This will be a different one. Oh. And the special thing about these amiibo, as opposed to the other ones that are made of plastic, yeah, these will be made of yarn. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. Exactly. Oh Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be made uh, of yarn. Oh um, man. Jesus. One, Christ. Uh, and they're limited, of course. Right. Green, pink, and blue are the three colors, and. W- once you use the amiibo in Yoshi's Woolly World, you have access to double Yoshi. So there's essentially two Yoshis, and you can use Yoshi to egg them up and toss them to higher stages that you can't reach. And he can, like, get, like, additional coins and power-ups and shit like that. That's kind of how I feel about that, though. You know, it doesn't feel... I don't know, I just... It's like... It's kind of like DLC, sort of. It's like, it's like DLC where they're like, it's limited edition DLC. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. You know, that's like, <laughs> I, that's, that's retarded. Weird. Yeah. And it's coming out this fall. So it's they going too far. To it's going way too far, I think. Especially because it's limited. Right. But they do look really nice. They do. Yeah, I'd get it for the, you know, like what a lot of people are actually doing. It's just getting it because the figures are really cool. Not to use them to, you know, get extra shit in games or whatever. You know what, though? But that's fine. If that's what Nintendo wants to do, I'm going to play their game. I'm not going to use no goddamn Amiibo. I'm going to just do my thing. Yeah. Play it like it was 1989 or whatever, man. So, on top of that news, they announced that they're expanding the virtual console for the Wii U and the 3DS. What do you mean expanding? They're adding Nintendo 64 and DS games. They had Nintendo 64 games, didn't they? They did on the Wii, but not on the Wii U. Oh, that's retarded. Right. right. So, uh, DS games will allow multiple control options because obviously the DS screen. Right. Um, and we'll have a picture of displaying the uh, the different control schemes up on the cast um, as they watch us talk about this. Mm. Which is very interesting because one is a sideways control where it splits the screen in two and you can actually literally just play off your screen. But it, it kind of makes holding the controller a little awkward. You know what I mean? Because mm. like, where would the buttons go? Now that you're playing it like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of um, weird. They have one where the, the the TV screen is the main screen, and obviously yeah. your Wii Pad is the touchpad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, they got a couple other ones that are just really weird. You can actually see the touchpad on the screen, which I don't know how that would really work. Maybe it shows up on the pad as well and on the screen. Um, which is a little oh, weird. I feel bad for all those people who don't have their N64 still and have, yeah, exactly. have to go through all that shit. For the mm-hmm. N64, that's just for the DS games. The N64 uh, control scheme can actually be configured. So you can create your own custom. You can pick out your own controller layout. So if you want you know, X to be A or you know, B to yeah, Y, you, know. you can literally pick out your own button setup. Yeah, so it's not cool. forcing you to be constricted to one... It's very Nintendo-like, but it's awesome. It is, and it's awesome. It's pretty good. Um, That's something that I was actually cool about, that I was actually uh, excited about. And um, certain games that feature Rumble Pack features will vibrate. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. 
So Good the ones deal. that supported the Rumble Pack will definitely vibrate. Good deal. Uh, yeah. So Star definitely. Fox 64. Um, here's the thing that this opening part was okay with me, depending on you know the games and the prices. But then they mentioned something else that kind of irked me a little bit, and I'll explain. Yeah, um, right. Nintendo 64 games are going to run from 9.99 to 11.99, and DS games are going to run from 6.99 to 9.99. Retarded. Something that bugs me too is that the if you already have games purchased on your Wii and you go to Wii U for the N sixty four games, it's gonna cost two bucks extra. Yeah. Not two bucks extra meaning you gotta pay for the price of the game. Just to transfer it to your Wii U. Yeah, to transfer it to Wii U you get to pay two bucks extra. That sucks because on the PS three or on PSN, if I buy, you know, a yeah, game that's cross PS. platform. I only have to buy it once, and a lot of games now that are on all those consoles are cross platform. Well, so, th- that's why I don't do that whole thing. You know, I just get the originals. That's just yeah. You know, you I, know what I mean? Like, it's cool to have the option. In certain people... situations, like I'll probably download on PSN. You what's know, Sweet Code Two or something. If, if there's originals available, what's the point of buying well, a DLC version? Especially, you can't resell it. You can't gift it. Yeah, I mean the thing is, for some people, it's the only option as to playing that because they're not going to go out and dig for. Well, you know what? Too bad for them. They should still have it. But like, thing is, some games are really rare or are really expensive. Like I was going to say, for example, like uh, you know, Sweet Code Two. You can't just go to eBay and get it for like you know, ten, fifteen, twenty bucks. It's like an eighty dollar game or something ridiculous. I'm not sure how much, but yeah. So you know, I'll just pay ten bucks and get it on on PSN. And then one day when I have like I don't have, you know, my collection is full, and all I need are like a bunch of expensive ass rare games, and that'll be one of those games, you know, like Dracula X for the Turbo Duo and yeah. shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know, but for now, yeah, okay, a game like that, or maybe God Hand because it's kind of rare, also, kind of hard to find. Oh, but other that. than that, you know, like just yeah, get the actual fucking game. So going back to the virtual console now, yeah. um, you got to pay two dollars. Oh well, too bad. <laughs> The first games I'm not going to. are going to be Yoshi, Yoshi's Island DS for $9.99 and Super Mario 64 for $9.99. Yeah, or just, you know, pay 6 bucks and get it for your N64, which if you liked your N64, you should still have. Then on April 9th, Yoshi Touch and Go will be $9.99. Touch and Go? Yo, uh, hey, Wari- don't you know? Touch and go. That sounds yeah. disturbing. Like WarioWare like Touch. I want. <laughs> what yeah. the? F- Comes out April 9th. Can for I talk about later on my Miyamoto theory? Sure. Uh, after after we're done. Oh, I, think he's yeah, a big, I think he's a big shrimp. Donkey Kong 64 on the 16th of April for 9.99. You know, Mario I never played Kart Donkey DS. Kong 64. <laughs> Mario Kart <laughs> DS. <laughs> April twenty third for nine ninety nine and Paper Mario on the thirtieth for nine ninety nine. Huh. They also announced a shitload of, of uh, eShop games, some that st- stood out that have already been out for quite some time, but they're just now getting uh, Octodad, De- Dadliest Catch, uh, Dadliest Catch, Dadliest Catch, not Deadliest, <laughs> Dadliest. Catch. Oh, I thought that was it's a the pun. The Dadliest Catch, that's the pun. <laughs> Dadliest Catch. Oh my god. Uh, don't Dadliest Starve catch. for the Wii U. And the cool thing about heard that... heard about that one, yeah. yeah. And the cool thing about the Wii U don't version star. is that if I purchase a, the Wii U version, I'm given an extra copy to give to a friend. Huh. That's yeah, interesting cool. and weird and cool. Yeah, exactly. So we can that's play multiplayer. It's totally wacky. They're like, oh, we're going to charge you like $2 to transfer your Wii to Wii U games, but, but we're going to give you an extra free, just for the hell of it, copy of this game to give to your buddy. Jeez. Okay, so the other ones were Never Alone, which looks cool, Badland, and Space Hulk, <laughs> which is interesting. Cause wait, wait, Space Hulk? Isn't that that 3DO game? Yep. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't look like the 3DO game. They're making a new Space Hulk uh, for PS4 and the Wii, so I wonder oh, wow. if it's going to be Those a, a stripped-down version of that project, or mm. if it's going to be something completely different. Huh. Who knows? We'll see. Um, they announced the crossover that they initially announced in 2013 during Nintendo Direct, G- uh, January 2013, I should say, between Shen Megami Tensei, Tensei? Tensei. Shin Tensei, Megami Tensei, thank Tensei, you, yeah, and Tensei. Fire Emblem. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and it looks very Japanese. Oh, sweet. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> saying that they're excited for that. It looks Derek pretty good. Derek walked, out, and, walked uh, out and said, 
watch it in anime? And I was <laughs> like, no. I'm talking about Shin Megami Tensei 4, pers- or, I mean, Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Persona? People yeah. swear by that and, Persona well, shit. Well, they're not saying well, Persona. They're just I really want to play that Persona 4 Golden. Okay. Good. And in Fire Emblem. So oh. they're merging, and it's going to be a DS game. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But the video that they showed for it looked really good. It didn't look like it was a DS a 3DS demo. It looked like it could have been something running on the Wii. Probably. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe it may come over. Uh, but it is currently for 3DS. They I doubt it. that it'll come over, though, right? We'll see. We'll see. The reason why I, I mean, did a lot of Fire Emblem games that, get localized? And, I don't and know. We'll, we'll say... I'll say why we'll see in a second, okay? Because it's part of this list, too. So, there's a lot of Wii U game, Wii games that are... There's, some Wii, there's a Wii game that's coming to 3DS. Mm-hmm. Which kind of surprises me. So I'll explain that in a second. Uh, they announced a new Fatal Frame for the Wii U. They showed it off a little bit. It looked like Fatal Frame. This is Fatal Frame 4 or 5 or what? It's 10, 12. I don't know. They mm. just, you, well, Fatal Frame is awesome. But it's cool. Yeah. And you actually use the um, the Wii U uh, controller. Touch, uh, as, the camera, as the camera, right? That's fucking awesome. So it's awesome. pretty cool. Um, it's a no-brainer, yeah. They announced uh, Pokemon Rumble World. It's going to be a uh, action RPG uh, 3DS eShop game coming April 8th, and it's going to be free. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And it's cool. They announced an Attack on Titan uh, 3DS game. Uh, Subtitle is Humanity in Chains. Never watched it. My brother's really into it. Hmm. He's like, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. I have it on Netflix. I should just probably watch it. Yeah. That's coming in May uh, 2015 via the eShop, which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to release a hard copy because uh, amongst the anime nets, uh, Attack on Titan is pretty big. Hmm. It's a little too big. I've never heard of it. A little too big, right? You say, yeah. Travis? Everybody Travis. cosplays Titans. Yeah, you just came from WonderCon today. Yeah. So every, everybody was... There's a lot of Titan people there. But it's not, an anime, it's not an anime convention. But at an anime convention, you're going to see everybody. It's like kind of back in the day when everybody was dressing up as... Who was everybody dressing up as? Like, uh, like a, like a, not, not Dragon Ball, but like, like a Sailor Moon or something like that. Oh, wow, lot, yeah. You know, like, not, not even that. There's something that everybody dressed up. I forget the name of it. Uh, but anyway, it's like now Attack on Titans is like the one that everybody, like, they don't even make the costume. They just buy it hmm. and wear it, you know, at the show. But you see Titans everywhere. It's apparently a great anime, though. That's what I've been told. Mm-hmm. My brother raves about it. Wow. So going through the rest of these notes real quick for the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Uh, Street Plaza uh, games. Me, uh, Street what? The new Street uh, Pass Plaza games that they uh, have coming out. What is that? Um, Street Pass is where you got a 3DS and you just meet random folks and you can play games with them. You like, don't have a 3DS? No, he doesn't have a 3DS. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't do Street portables, dude. No. So you can make new friends wherever you go. <laughs> I use that to advertise my business. Wow. So, so the new games that That's they cool. have for that um, is they announced uh, it's Battle like Ground. Boo. <laughs> they announced Battleground Z. And they announced, uh, which is, uh, you're battling zombies, obviously, in the neighborhood. Like, hordes of zombies and stuff like that with your meat. Zombie you, too. Um, and they have Ultimate Angler, which is a fishing game. <laughs> um, I love their all- fishing games, dude. The Japanese <laughs> yeah, are fishermen, dude. It's random. Um, it's they- a fishing, you know, island. And they also announced the, okay, no. the Street Pass Me Plaza Premium, which is a paid service, coming April 16th. Um, and oh, includes- paid service. And it includes birthdays. You can what? keep track of your friends' birthdays on Street Pass and other features that they'll announce in the <laughs> okay, future. Like uh, anything else. So, so, yeah, so get this the paid service and the two new uh, games, the Battle Z, uh, Battleground Z and Ultimate Angler, are $4.99 each. If you, you want to buy the two games together, the two Street uh, Plaza games, Street Pass Plaza, or whatever they're called. Uh, it's seven ninety nine, so you get to save yeah, you a, gave buck. a buck on each game. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, two bucks at the moment. Better than nothing, but so the game, the Wii game that I was talking about earlier was Xenoblade Chronicles. They're bringing yeah, that so to thought. the new 3DS XL, yeah. um, and it's coming April tenth, so relatively soon. Uh, they had it running. It looked good. Um, it looked like a 3DS game. It's <laughs> Odd that they would take a game like that and bring yeah, it to with 3DS. that size. But I guess uh, now with the hardware that the the you know the faster the updated process, yeah. yeah updated processor, yeah. it's capable of running it. I don't think you can even play that game on the older 3DS. No, you cannot. Sucks. 
Nintendo really shot it's themselves just, in the foot with it's that. It's weird. I don't know. I wonder Super if they're not going to release another console now, for, uh, another handheld for another two years. That's probably speaking too soon. Nintendo will probably have another con- uh, handheld out by next I don't know what the hell they're doing you know that, all that that all that whole thing is super weird super weird especially because there's no real way to like I mean it's not like they don't the, the, the two consoles they still look pretty much the same so it's not you can just take a quick look and be like oh shit the last well, note that oh go ahead it does have that new little um, what is that the little analog nub so you don't have to have the circle plus pro anymore so I guess that's cool for those yeah, portable gamers portable out there plus, why? Why? Because it's, it's it's like a little laptop pointer. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want you're gonna hold. I don't care what people anybody says. You're gonna hold that thing down. You're gonna be push, pushing it down a little bit harder than anyone really should be. Yeah, yeah very it. true. No, not only break it, you're just gonna have an impression in your thumb the whole time. It's gonna be uncomfortable. That's how. Well, I you know it. what, dude? Like, I mean, hey, you, you know, the nub, an extra uh, nub. I don't mind. The well, it has the extra nub, but he wants like more of an analog stick rather than the nub. Right. Yeah. And I, 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 yeah, I kind of agree with that, but it's too, it's too small. Too, I agree. It doesn't look like an analog. It looks like a button, but think about playing it. For, if first-person shooters or anything like that on that. But then again, you know, if you're gonna play first-person shooter, just you know, Not play really. it on console. I mean, I, you know, like yeah, or handhelds are good for quick little fun I guess games. It, I guess all it's really worth is just to rotate cameras around. Or something. Yeah, for the most part, you know, yeah, just so that you technically can. Yeah. Well. So. The last bit of Nintendo news I want to bang out real quick. Yeah, because this is like the Nintendo... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. Nintendo hour, well, dude. Yeah, well, Nintendo Direct pretty much took over. They announced a lot of things I'll that fucking take over really Nintendo's fucking ass. need to be announced, I felt like. A lot of stuff I wasn't really looking forward to. They talked yeah. about a lot of Spl- uh, Splatoon and other games. That oh, I'm really... excited about that. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool, It looks but cool, yeah. They tried to throw in the Amiibo bullshit with that again, so I just... It's, yeah, I don't like that, hour. but it's super smart. Nintendo it's good to see them taking Amiibo advantage hour. of something that benefits them for once. Right. So the Mario Kart D- uh, Mario Kart 8 DLC was announced. All right. Uh, it's 200, a Animal uh... Crossing DLC pack. Three racers. Wait, what? Animal Crossing DLC. Here, I'll pull, pull it up for Ernest while everybody else sees it right now on the screen. I was not it's, made aware of yes. such failure. So Mario, uh, so Mario Kart 8 is going to have... Animal Crossing DLC. It's going to come with three racers, Isabel, Villager, and Dry Bowser. As opposed to Moist Bowser. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come with four vehicles, the City the city Tripper, That's cool. the uh, Streetle, Streetle, and two more to be announced. Mm. And it's going to come with eight courses. Eight new courses? Including uh, Crossing Cut and Bell Cut. What is still? Just take my money now, Nintendo. And Wait, it's eight bucks, and it's going to be seven ninety nine on April twenty. And you better give me eight courses. That's still a really good deal. They also announced that new amiibo will give you access to new me costumes. Oh no! <laughs> while you race, so you can look like Pac Man. You can look like that's pretty cool. You know, you can look like Zelda. You can look like. But you know what? Because of the way they did the amiibos, any amiibo exclusive content to me is. Completely irrelevant. Okay, so we're running short on time, so yeah, I want to bang these out real done. quick. Let's bang uh, it. Okay, bang so, him, Smurf. So the, this is going to be thumbs up and thumbs down. Basically, right. I'm going to read the story topic, and we're going to give either thumbs up and thumbs down, and we're going to explain why. Okay, mm-hmm. the first one is <clears throat> Travis. Mm-hmm. We went to E3 about I want to say 2009, 2010. Yeah, and. Uh, on live was just starting. Right. Remember on live streaming? Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. RIP. Yeah. On live is officially going out of business. What? They're shutting their servers down at the end of April and their patents are being bought by Sony Computer Entertainment. What are they going to do with them? I would it's imagine that th- I imagine that they would integrate their patents into PlayStation Now. Mm-hmm. So they can come with a cheaper plan because right now PlayStation Now is like for a month. It's like for to have access to all those unlimited games. It's like twenty bucks. I may be like, yeah, it's a lot. It's like fifteen twenty bucks, mm-hmm. and you know you pay th- a flat fee for a month and you have access to like a hundred games that you can stream. But for on live, it was you had access to like a hundred and it was like seven bucks a month, eight bucks a month. So maybe the patents will help lower prices. 
maybe there's technologies that, that they can integrate that they didn't have access to that makes it easier for their service to exist and at, a, at an affordable price. Um, Ernest, I know that we did that video where we were doing PlayStream. Mm. That was our first video for WTF. Yeah. And we were playing the streaming, and then you weren't really a fan. What do you think about this news? Do you I say thumbs, thumbs up? up or yeah, thumbs, thumbs down? up. Thumbs, thumbs up. up, and why? Uh, for a few reasons. One, it's uh, I don't know. I I I, I tried to tell anybody I knew, you know, uh, you know, hell with that shit. Don't mess with it. Whatever. And like, no, it's cool. Blah blah. It, they'll support it. And now look what happened. There you go. <laughs> it should be <laughs> worth mentioning too that um, once the service goes out. You lose your library. You lose in your entire library. Yeah, you lose everything. So, you know, That's exactly. I, why exactly, I and, and plus, it's uh, not DLC. This well, is I mean, streaming. I mean, yeah, streaming plus, I think it's good. Don't physically own. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, things you don't physically own. One, and then two. I think it's good just in general for the industry because it's a, uh, it's kind of a, it, it's a negative mark against streaming gaming, and I think that's good because I think people shouldn't accept the compromise and just be like, well, you know, but I don't have the games. I don't feel like it. No. You know, I, I it's horrible. You should play the game. You should get the game. Like streaming is just too much compromise to where people, you know, it, it's like saying like the new RoboCop. No, oh, you know, it's cool. Like, I yeah, like it wasn't it. the shittiest movie ever, but yeah, it was decent. Yeah, it was. It I, I, I was surprised. Yeah, but like, it's no RoboCop the original. Like, it's not. You know, mm -hmm. it's as as decent as it was. Just like playing these. Stream it's like games. like Total Recall or something. Like, if the original didn't exist, nobody would be. Saying, oh, that Total Recall was like a great movie. In 10 years, they should remake it. No. Nobody's saying that about the new Total Recall. Oh, God. Nobody's saying anything about it, thank God. Yeah. It's a shitty movie. Travis. Of course it is. So, no, Travis thumbs was... up to that, you know? Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, so they should squash that on live bullshit and huh. not let people <laughs> be able to play shitty fucking versions of games that they should just play like a normal fucking person. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Travis, thumbs up or thumbs down to the fall of on live? Uh, thumbs up, man. I mean, it's it was kind of a waning technology, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, you can buy like uh, hardware for it, but it wasn't. It was more like a Jesus Christ, box, you know. You know, and a controller. Streaming is like probably like the worst way to play any game. Yeah, I tried. I haven't had too much experience with it, but I just to screw around did Tokyo Jungle on my Vita uh, through the PS3. And it was garbage. Yeah, I'd rather it just... It wasn't even 60 frames a second. Yeah, forget it. I'd rather no, just not even play. stream. It's no. retarded, guys. Yeah. Just stop. It's like, oh, my internet speed is good. I'm like, all it takes is one hiccup or a couple of hiccups, and I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. And the thumbs up for Sony to ultimately kill it, too, but I don't think Yeah, right. yeah. And that's smart on Sony's part to... Uh, Get all to you know acquire everything with streaming, you know. Right, I have to agree. I think this is a thumbs up. Um, I was an early adopter of this technology mm -hmm. when when we went and they were barely starting to pitch it. They gave me a year and a half for free because we were press. Um, so I had a lot of time to sit and play with it. I wasn't very impressed. I thought it was laggy. Um, at best, it ran slightly choppy. Um, and then I even tried it on my phone slightly choppy again it just it didn't it just didn't work and i feel bad for the people who actually spent real money no buying for them. full blown games on this service who That's are you get. screwed you should have been you should have bought it on steam because at least on steam if they decide that it goes out of service they will make all their games drm free and you could just back them up to a blu-ray and play yeah. them later or install them onto another yeah. computer with yeah. this these guys are completely fucked and it really sucks that if you actually paid for service and bought all these games, now that this is what this is what everybody fears would happen is um, happening. Yeah, you know? exactly. It sucks to be them. But the last one I have on my notes is WB Games confirmed that Mortal Kombat X for PS3 and Xbox 360 has been delayed until summer, quote unquote summer. From what to summer though? Um, from a couple weeks. Like it was supposed to come out in a couple weeks. Yes. Now it's delayed until summer. Right, correct. Um, the PS4, the P the PS4, the PC, and the Xbox One versions are still on track for release uh, for their April release date. Mm -hmm. um, but now the, the the last gen copies have been delayed till summer. Um, this has been a repeating trend, seemingly for WB. They canceled the last gen versions of Dying Light. And they postponed 
uh, the last gen versions of Shadow of Mordor. Those were eventually released, but a couple of months Apparently after. They're horrible, though. Not after, very good versions. Right. Right, exactly. Um, they had to outsource them. The original dev company obviously yeah. didn't port those the last gen. They that's what them happened out. then, yeah. So that's, what more, that's what's happening with Mortal Kombat. Did you Kombat. just get game over? I guess I did. You did. I don't know. It didn't look like you died. Yeah, it didn't look like it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what you did, dude. It's fine. Um, <laughs> just start it over. And so, uh, so, so, yeah, so. But GameStop is now claiming that. June 2nd is the new release date for those last gens. Ernest, thumbs up or thumbs down to Warner Brothers delaying Mortal Kombat? Absolute thumbs up. Why? In every way, because it's always... Any time a game gets delayed, I think it's a wonderful, great thing. Because they could either delay it or not delay it and release it now. If they release it now, then they're just the game is going to be broken, and, the, and all the reason that they were going to delay it is going to come in the form of patches. Rather just delay it and then release it so that... You'll need a day day one patch, otherwise the game is completely broken and practically unplayable or broken right. or whatever. And then also on top of that, Ernest gets to uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> gets a, yeah, keep, exactly keep his stack and a yeah, there's and there's amount. more than enough games period to where like there's stuff to play, yeah. you know, and like it's always good to delay a game to make it better and more polished because once that game comes out, it's already out forever. If you're gonna just delay it by a few months, delay it and make it a better game. You know, can you imagine how good a lot of Sega's games would have been if they had just delayed it? Like, Nintendo delays the shit out of everything. And, you know, their games that they come out, they're clean. They're, like, super clean and polished, and they're they're nice. You know, and, like, Sega's games were all glitchy and janky and amazing, but all your thing is, like, yeah, this is so great, man. I just If they just delayed it by, like, a month, this would have been such a better game. This would have been so much just more cleaner and nice. You know, like, and once you have the game, it's like, fine, you've already got it. I would have... Here, take it back for like a month, fix it, and I'll pay double, you know, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Travis, thumbs up or thumbs down? Which one? To Mortal Kombat being delayed. Oh, yeah, thumbs up. And why? Absolutely, because, I mean, it's the same reasons. Uh, I mean, the one thing that does suck about it, that would be a thumbs down-ish, if I can do a little bit of both, like, you know, kind of skirt on both sides, is that it was already supposed to come out in two weeks. And then it was just recently announced that it was gonna be next year more than no but those are for no, the no, but those no, are later, for the, later this summer sorry right. and those are for the lesser versions too so really if you're really wanting to play this you should be playing on a, on a ps4 or a three or an xbox one anyway yeah and you know so hey on, just be glad you're getting it at all <laughs> you yeah. may have to wait a little bit longer but but those you still got the 360 you know? wait the 360 one is still coming out properly and no the ps4 delayed. and the xbox one are coming out as scheduled maybe so. those are maybe Maybe they're just perfectly fine. They just want to sell more of those. Yeah, that could be true, too. And even still, I, all right, you know, you know I'm all right with that. I think <laughs> my conspiracy side has pa- kicked yeah. in. Yeah, part of me agrees with you and thinks that this is a marketing scheme to sell more next-gen copies. Or current-gen, I should say. Yeah. Quote-unquote, uh, current-gen, current yeah. Current-gen copies. Because um, current-gen hasn't really set the world on fire yet. Right, you know? and it'll encourage people to buy Xbox Ones mm. and PS. Because if they want that Mortal Kombat, buy Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's I'd true. I like to say though, on on that note, this is the first generation in a long time where I did not buy a day one system. Right. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Mm-hmm. And me too. And so, as a marketing tactic, I think it's good to get people to want to buy PS4s because that's where everything is going, anyways. By the end of 2015. We're gonna see a massive decrease in last gen support. This, these yeah. consoles have been out for ten years already. Companies are ready to move on. Yeah, um, but it's expensive but, to but move people on. People aren't. Yeah, and exactly. it takes but time. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for the fact that they want to uh, encourage sales. If that's what they're trying to do, mm. I'm gonna give it a thumbs down because what Travis said, it was supposed to come out in two weeks. And a lot of fans were really excited, including myself, who have last-gen consoles to play it on a last-gen console. I also put a thumbs down because um, it is a repeating trend of Warner Brothers to say, Oh, we got this game coming out. Hmm. Oh, now we don't. Or, oh, we got this game coming out. Oh, but now you got to yeah, wait while see, you're, you're... They you're, don't have to do that. They could say, well... All right, we're still going to have this game come out. And then it comes out and it's like all fucked up and shit and everybody complains. Right. Like, oh my god, this game is so it's, broken. It's Day one patches and blah, 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 you know. It, it's a hype machine for them. Yeah. Right. They use it like that. It's marketing. I think that's why it's delayed. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not, you know, yeah. 
Yeah, they just stated that they just wanted more time to make it the best game possible on those consoles. But yeah, that's what they have to say. That's yeah, what they're but yeah, say. They, uh, who knows? PR, yeah, that's like PRBS. two months. Two months worth of time. Right? Yeah. Like, what are they gonna? What like, can you do, really? Yeah. You I know, mean, you could do a lot, a but lot even still, you know, a lot yeah. of compression. <laughs> a lot of those, a lot of texture compression. Yeah. <laughs> Working on I mean, because to me it doesn't matter because I'm just I'm gonna play the you know I'll play it on PS4. So yeah, you can release it. You could say they're gonna delay it by a year, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll be cool. On the PC. I'll just be waiting until that that time comes. Yeah. So those were my notes. Mm -hmm. Well, before we close off, everybody should go buy and play Lost Planet. 2. Oh yes, tell us all about <laughs> it. Lost Planet Two again. Yeah. Huh? Why yeah. not? Why not? Uh... And why should people buy Lost Planet? Because it's fucking just phenomenal. It's excellent. It's it, it, it. I mean, everything is good about it. Everything is good about it. The graphics are just. Holy shit! You're playing on 360. Yeah, mm -hmm. graphics are fucking it's ridiculous. PC, right? It's uh, I, I think so. I'm not sure. I think um, it might it's it's game. like super like fun to play. It's kind of unique, you know. It's uh, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. Why? Because graphics are awesome. It's like really fun to play. You know, it's like an awesome action game. So I don't do you go story. buy it because the emperor said. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Because everybody said it was like not that great, and then oh, also wow. that you you can't really play one player. You have to play like multiplayer because it's pretty much impossible if you don't. And blah blah blah. And so that, is that true? Even even though it's like you know that it's still just it's not that great of a game. You know, it's like it looks dated, whatever. To me, like the graphics are some of the best I've ever seen. They're but just, you're you're playing multiplayer? No, I'm playing it by myself, and I haven't. So far, I haven't run into any problems. And everybody's like, "Oh, if you die on the boss, you start all the way back at the beginning of the level." But so far, the levels have been like, you know, really small—not tiny, but like small enough to where it's not like, "Shit, I gotta go do like half an hour's worth of work again." It's, uh -huh. you know, the levels are like nice and, and tightly constricted, and they're, you know, and it's like the the areas are are big to where um, you can kind of you can kind of explore without getting too lost. Like the level design is really good. The bugs and the aliens look fucking amazing they're huge and those glowing orange you know weak spots are just ridiculously fun to shoot at <laughs> and the bosses are fucking gigantic there's bump the mapping one? everywhere yeah I played and got through the first one most one. people didn't beat the first one they just played a little bit and they're like oh it's hard and you're waiting on the I got all the way one, through man. it no I'm not excited about the third one because it's uh and it was done by some western developer and yeah. apparently it wasn't well received it wasn't it didn't people said it wasn't very good and unlike part two, even though people said whatever, I, I thought it looked good. The demo was was really awesome, and um, mm. and so you know it, it it won me over from that. I knew that the graphics were going to be good. This one, yeah, it, it it doesn't look that good either. I can tell that it's a Western developer. I can tell it's it's not Kaiji and Afune, you know, so it's it doesn't have that feel. Oh, it doesn't look you? that good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, isn't isn't a lot of uh. Dead Rising. Yeah, you know, I didn't really get into Dead Rising. I don't know. I oh, really? and the second one was a uh, you know, the second one and the third ones were all again Western developers. Or something like that. I, can't I don't know. There's some European developer oh, really? team or something like that. Or American, I'm not sure. But I, you know, yeah, I played. I tried to get into the first Blue one a couple times. I couldn't get into it, and then the second one I played the demo and it felt, you know, didn't feel very good. So I didn't really bother. I got you. Well, anyway, so Lost Planet 2, huh? I, it's just because everybody talks so much shit, so I was like, well, I liked the demo. Like, hopefully it'll be good, but my expectations aren't, like, terribly high. It's too bad. It looks really great. And then I played, I'm like, no, this is really awesome. This is even better than the demo, and I'm not having any trouble playing one player. I don't know what the fuck everybody's talking about. Oh. These graphics are awesome. It's, like, super fun to play. The frame rate is amazing. Graphics are amazing. It's fucking awesome. Mm. Like, holy shit. All right. And plus, it's not like... It's not like Call of Duty where you're just running around shooting humans. You know, you get a mixture of humans and these giant fucking bugs. Fucking amazing. Awesome. You know, it's great. It takes t place ten years after the first one. You know, the ice on the planet has melted. It's fucking perfect. Mm. Fucking sick-ass game. Like, and it's I a great multiplayer game, too. And then, yeah, and then, if you know, like, well, I like multiplayer. Well, great. It's an awesome fucking multiplayer game, then. And it wasn't as hard as everybody was telling me. Everybody's like, it's really hard. It's, like, fucking practically impossible. And... I, know, I am playing it on easy, but it's definitely been like super fun and not impossible at all. So wow. go buy Lost Planet. Yeah, it's not expensive either. All right, so what like six bucks? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much, you know. So why the fuck not? Yeah. And so if you don't like cool. it, then it's like, Sorry. well, fuck, I just lost like six fucking dollars. I'm fucking oh wow. Yeah, well. 
you should fucking make yourself like it. You know? Wow. Definitely. I don't know. It, it feels a little out. weird. I could see people, some people not liking it because the controls are a little different, but I, I kind of like it. That's kind of what I like about there's it. There's enough. Uh, I, I do believe it meets my minimum criteria of boobage and buttage in gaming because there's this chick with like a thong that runs Wait, around. Wait, there is a chick with a thong there's in it? There's a chick with a thong that runs around and she has butt jiggle. Oh my god, I can't wait to get to that part. Yeah, I've seen it on YouTube. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I love it. I love the women female jiggle. Yeah, just type in jiggle, like jiggle. Lost Planet 2. Everybody listening to this, Lost Planet 2, butt jiggle. You'll see what I'm talking about. Mm. Oh, and on another note, uh, I felt Alan Wake's American Nightmare better than the regular Alan Wake game. You liked it more? Yeah, I liked it more. I liked the setting in Arizona just better. Just like visually a little bit. I uh, cool. just looked a little nicer. I, I just thought, I just, I don't know. I, I preferred the feel of it and the look of it. You know, the world was a little bit more tighter, a little bit more, uh, just get a better feel for it. You know, the first one, you're, you're all over the place in this big area and stuff. And, you know, you're running through endless fucking dark-ass forests and shit. And this one's a little bit more, uh, um... It's just you know it's just more precise, more tight. Cool. Yeah, and it's uh, it was it was fun. Like I, the story was better, it was interesting and stuff. And like you know, it they say it's not a sequel to you know Alan Wake, but it kind of is because it takes place after the game, and it, it kind of explains the shit that the game itself doesn't fucking explain in Alan Wake, hmm. which is what the fuck happens and you know and why and all that shit. Ah, don't ruin it for me. I'm still playing. Yeah, exactly because that game was so just convoluted and all over the fucking place and then you go all the way through it and doesn't really explain it and then you get the two downloadable DLC levels which are actually awesome and I thought, thought that those two levels were better than the game itself as well huh. and then you play through those and you get a little bit more clarity but again kind of like near, not really much at the end when you're done you're still kind of like ah, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really know and my buddy came and he's like oh so so what was the deal with that like what, what, what happens again what was the deal and I'm like yeah I don't I don't know dude I fucking, <laughs> you know <laughs> But then I played like American Nightmare and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah I, I can kind of break it down for you now. Oh, right. And that's cool. kind of retarded that you have to like do that. And I don't know, just uh, American Nightmare was like, just felt more fun, like moving around, playing, killing enemies and stuff. It felt, I don't know, it just felt better. Mm-hmm. Sweet. And the graphics were tight also, very tight. Cool. We're gonna but one it. sucky thing that oh. you don't get, you don't get to choose between different flashlights. Why would you need to choose different flashlights? Oh, it was awesome. You know, you get like these, you get like oh, a different... high intensity flashlight. Sure. You get like a lantern and that flashlight and shit. That's pretty cool, you know. It's... But then it's kind of like clean, just just the one flashlight, you know. It's well, maybe nice. they were just trying to keep things simple. Yeah, and I like that. That's true. It was, yeah. it was more simple. You know, that's that, the you know. first rule of game design. Yeah, keep I agree. It simple, keep it, you know, to a degree. Yeah, keep it simple. Mm-hmm. And Lost Planet Two is not exactly simple, but it's not over your head. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Man. Sweet. Congratulations. Awesome. Congrats, we're going to wrap dude. this up because it's running late and yeah. we still got to edit this motherfucker. Yeah. That's right. And put it out. Lock Moses it. up in the lab. Exactly. So I'm going to be up all night probably doing that. Oh, wow. And maybe a little bit of tomorrow before work. So it should be up by Monday, Tuesday, the latest. Um, where can people find you online? Um, online, you can find me, uh, you want, you can Twitter me, Emperor underscore Ernest. Um, you know, basically Emperor Ernest or Emperor underscore Ernest is a good way to find me. Awesome. Hey. Travis Tendo, where can people find you? Oh, uh, dude, you can go to Facebook.com slash Motomosa. You can go to Twitter slash Motomosa. You can go to Instagram Motomosa. Wait, wait, what now? Motomosa, what? Motomosa, M-O-D-E-L-M-O-S-A. You just go there. Oh, that's, where all my face, that's where all my uh, photography is. Because that's mm. all I do. I'm a photographer. So you should go there and, and, and let him know how his photography is. Most definitely. And if you need any hot shot photographers, this that's Hire right. me. Guy I'm available. Is the guys. I am available. This guy. This guy. This for hire. This guy. This guy. And people can find me at Instagram and Twitter at Moses IVVIOC. Also, check out. At WTF gamers only uh, at Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, and WTFGamersOnly.com, which will be hosting this very podcast, which is more likely where you're he- hearing it if you just didn't stumble yeah, across so you didn't hear it on, w- on MP3 or on the YouTube space. Uh, again, my name is Jason. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll let you know soon when our next episode is coming. 
I'm coming and, out there. Well. Until uh, then. You know, a week or two. Until then, so long. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in. All right. And all that bullshit. And uh, catch you later, Bill and Ted. Catch mm-hmm. you later. Baby.